What comes to mind when you think of Irish DNA? Red hair? A pure Celtic bloodline? Maybe even a secret royal connection? Well, I hate to say it, but most of these ideas are myths. That's right, for years, people have been spinning romanticized and downright false stories about Irish heritage. But what's the truth? What does modern science actually tell us about Irish DNA? In this video, we're diving into the top myths about Irish DNA and separating fact from fiction. Whether you're Irish, have a drop of Irish ancestry, or are just fascinated by genetics, this is going to be a wild ride. From the misconceptions about red hair to the idea that Irish DNA is locked to specific counties, we're unpacking everything. Now, before we jump into our first myth, do me a quick favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. I promise, you won't want to miss any of our future videos. Okay, let's get started. The first myth we're tackling is one you've definitely heard before, that all Irish people have red hair. Is it true? Let's find out. Alright, let's talk about one of the most iconic stereotypes about Irish people, red hair. Movies, books, and pop culture have long painted the Irish as a nation of redheads. But here's the truth, only about 10-15% to 15 of Irish people actually have red hair. That's it. Now, don't get me wrong. Red hair is more common in Ireland than in most other countries, but it's far from universal. The gene responsible for red hair, called MC1R, is recessive. This means both parents need to carry the gene for a child to have red hair. While plenty of Irish people carry this gene, the majority don't. Instead, most Irish people have dark brown or even black hair, especially in the western regions of the country. Here's a fun twist. Scotland actually beats Ireland when it comes to the percentage of redheads. About 13% of Scots have red hair compared to 10% of Irish people. Surprised? You're not alone. So, where did this redhead stereotype come from? The answer lies in storytelling. Over centuries, writers and artists leaned into red hair as a way to symbolize Irishness. Redheads were depicted in folklore, literature, and even Hollywood movies as fiery, passionate, and, of course, Irish. It was catchy, but not exactly accurate. Let's not forget how diverse the Irish actually are. Historical migrations brought a variety of physical traits to the island, from darker features to fairer ones. Red hair is just one piece of a much bigger puzzle. So, the next time someone tells you Irish people are all redheads, you can wow them with the truth. Now, let's move on to our next myth, the idea that Irish DNA is purely Celtic. The idea of Irish DNA being purely Celtic is one of the most enduring myths about Irish heritage. It's romantic, isn't it? This vision of the Irish as direct descendants of ancient Celts with a pure and unbroken lineage. But like most myths, it's not exactly true. First, let's talk about the Celts themselves. The term Celtic refers to a group of tribes that spread across Europe thousands of years ago. These tribes reached Ireland, bringing their culture, language, and genetics. So yes, the Irish do have Celtic roots, but that's just one chapter in the story. Before the Celts arrived, Ireland was already home to ancient hunter-gatherers and farmers. These early inhabitants left their mark on the gene pool, meaning Irish DNA is much older than the Celtic era. Then, over the centuries, more waves of people came to Ireland. Take the Vikings, for example. They didn't just raid, they settled, married, and had families. Genetic studies reveal Scandinavian markers in modern Irish DNA, especially in regions like Dublin and Waterford. Next came the Normans, who arrived in the 12th century and left their own genetic footprint. But it doesn't end there. The English brought another wave of influence, particularly during the Tudor and Cromwellian eras. And let's not forget the surprising Iberian connection. Genetic research shows that some Irish ancestors may have migrated from the Iberian Peninsula thousands of years ago. All of this means the Irish gene pool is far from pure. It's a rich tapestry woven from countless migrations, invasions, and intermarriages. 
And honestly, isn't that more interesting? So, while the Irish certainly have Celtic heritage, it's just one piece of a much larger puzzle. Genetics tells us that the story of Irish DNA is one of diversity and resilience. Up next, let's tackle the idea that having Irish DNA makes you royalty. Let's be honest, who hasn't fantasized about being descended from royalty? And when it comes to Irish DNA, there's this popular myth that if you've got Irish ancestry, you must have royal blood. After all, Ireland's history is filled with ancient kings, high rulers, and legendary clans. But before you start designing your royal crest, let's talk about the reality. This myth largely stems from genetic testing companies that claim to trace your lineage to ancient Irish dynasties, like the famous Annals of Ulster. These clans were powerful, sure, and had their fair share of kings. But here's the catch. Clans in ancient Ireland were enormous. We're talking thousands of members, most of whom were not royalty. Let's break it down further. There's a well-known genetic marker, called M222, that some believe links individuals to the O'Neill dynasty. While it's true that this marker is more common in people with Irish ancestry, it's found in about 2% of men with Irish roots. That might sound exclusive, but when you realize how many millions of people have Irish ancestry worldwide, it's not so rare after all. Now, even if you do have this marker, or another link to an ancient clan, it doesn't mean you're a direct descendant of a king. You're more likely connected to one of the many farmers, warriors, or craftsmen who were part of that clan. These were the everyday people who kept Ireland running. Another reason for this myth's popularity? The allure of Irish mythology. Stories of kings like Brian Baru or the mythical high kings of Terra have been passed down for centuries, sparking imaginations worldwide. But DNA science doesn't work like a magic wand that can place a crown on your head. Here's the silver lining. While you might not have royal blood, your DNA tells a much richer story. It connects you to generations of people who lived, loved, and contributed to Ireland's incredible history. Isn't that just as amazing as being descended from royalty? So, before you order that velvet robe, remember this, Irish ancestry isn't about being royal. It's about being part of a lineage that shaped a nation. Next, let's tackle the idea that Irish DNA can pinpoint the exact county your ancestors came from. Let's talk about one of the most tempting promises DNA testing companies make, the idea that they can pinpoint your Irish ancestry to a specific county. Imagine discovering that your great-great-grandparents came from County Cork or County Donegal. It sounds incredible, but here's the truth, genetics doesn't work that way. DNA tests are great at identifying broad regional trends. For example, they might tell you that your ancestry is tied to the west of Ireland or the northern provinces. But pinpointing a specific county? That's much harder. Why? Because people in Ireland didn't stay put. Ireland has a long history of internal migration. Families moved for all kinds of reasons, better farmland, job opportunities, or even to escape conflict. For instance, during the Great Famine in the 19th century, countless Irish families were displaced from their homes. Many moved to urban centers like Dublin or Cork, while others immigrated entirely. This constant movement blurred the genetic lines between counties. Here's an example. Someone with ancestors from County Clare might share a lot of DNA with people in neighboring counties like Galway or Limerick. That's because genes don't recognize borders. They spread and mix over time, especially on a relatively small island like Ireland. Another factor to consider is intermarriage. Over centuries, families from different counties intermarried, blending their genetic markers. So even if your ancestors hailed from one county, their DNA could reflect connections to several others. If you're serious about tracing your roots to a specific county, DNA testing is just one piece of the puzzle. You'll also need historical records like birth certificates, marriage documents, and census data. These resources can help you connect the dots in a way that DNA alone can't. The bottom line? While it's fun to imagine your ancestry tied neatly to one Irish county, the reality is much more complex. And that's okay. 
The movement and mixing of people are part of what makes Irish heritage so rich and fascinating. So, don't get too hung up on finding that one special county. Instead, celebrate the broader story of your ancestry. Now, let's move on to our final myth, the idea that Irish DNA is only found in Ireland. Here's a myth that needs a serious reality check, the idea that Irish DNA is confined to the Emerald Isle. It's tempting to think of Irish ancestry as something uniquely tied to Ireland itself, but the truth is, Irish DNA is found all over the world. In fact, it's one of the most widespread genetic heritages on the planet. Let's talk history. One of the biggest reasons Irish DNA is so widespread is the Great Famine of the 19th century. Between 1845 and 1852, millions of Irish people were forced to leave their homeland due to starvation, poverty, and disease. Over a million emigrated to the United States, while others settled in Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom. This mass exodus left a permanent mark, creating what we now call the Irish Diaspora. But the famine wasn't the only time the Irish left their island. For centuries, Irish people have traveled far and wide. In the 17th and 18th centuries, Irish soldiers, known as the Wild Geese, left Ireland to serve in European armies, especially in France and Spain. Others sought economic opportunities abroad, working as laborers, farmers, or even merchants in the Americas and beyond. Today, it's estimated that over 70 million people worldwide claim Irish heritage. That's more than 14 times the current population of Ireland. In places like the United States, Irish DNA is particularly common, with nearly 10% of Americans identifying as having Irish ancestry. And the influence of Irish DNA doesn't stop there. Genetic studies show that Irish DNA markers can even be found in unexpected places, like Argentina and South Africa, where Irish immigrants settled in smaller numbers. What does this mean for you? If you have Irish ancestry, it doesn't necessarily mean your ancestors lived in Ireland. They could have been part of the global Irish story, living, working, and thriving in far-off lands while keeping their culture and traditions alive. So, Irish DNA isn't just about Ireland. It's a global story of resilience, migration, and connection. That's something to be incredibly proud of, no matter where in the world you call home. Now, let's wrap this up with some final thoughts. So there you have it, the top myths about Irish DNA, completely debunked. From the misconception that all Irish people have red hair to the idea that Irish DNA is pure or confined to Ireland, we've uncovered the truth behind the stories. And honestly, the reality is so much more interesting. Irish DNA isn't about stereotypes or simplistic ideas. It's a complex tapestry woven from centuries of history, migration, and resilience. It's the story of ancient Celts, Viking settlers, Norman invaders, and Irish families who carried their heritage across the globe. It's about connection, connecting to the past, to the people who came before us, and to the millions of others who share this incredible heritage. What's even more exciting is how much we're still learning. Advances in genetic research are helping us uncover new details about Irish ancestry every day. For example, did you know that scientists have even identified links between Irish DNA and early Iberian populations? It's proof that the story of Irish genetics is far from over. But more importantly, Irish ancestry isn't just about the science. It's about the stories, traditions, and cultures that have been passed down through generations. Whether your ancestors were farmers, fishermen, or even royalty, hey, you never know, they all contributed to the rich history that makes Irish heritage so unique. Now, we want to hear from you. Did any of these myths surprise you? Do you have Irish ancestry, or are you curious to learn more about your own roots? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear your story. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon so you'll never miss our future dives into history, culture, and ancestry. You can also share this video with friends and family, who knows, maybe they'll discover something new about their own heritage. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey into Irish DNA. 
Until next time, Slaint, and remember, the truth about your ancestry is always more fascinating than the myths. See you in the next video.